Well, I've got my window over here. You see my finger? Um, it's about 10 after 9, so 9, 10 in the morning. And it's dark because the rainstorm is here. I'm in Southern California, so. I just, the ibuprofen is kicking in, so the ear pain isn't severe right now, but it's there. You know, I can do the 1 to 10 pain scale, you know, I, and I'd say it's about a 4, 4.5 maybe, 4.5, let's just say 4.5. Um, but when there's no ibuprofen working, it's about a 20. Like, it goes beyond the pain scale, just beyond words, beyond functioning. I can't function when it's at its worst. I, I'm just, like, moaning and groaning. Like my other video where I showed you when the pain was at its height, as bad as it could possibly be in the moment. But have you ever hit a bone against something? Like, maybe you tripped and fell and your knees hit the steps, or you banged your elbow on the edge of a bookshelf, or, or a door frame or something, or, you know, maybe you smacked your nose into something, or you smacked your head into something. I mean, you know how there's that sudden sharp pain, and then there's the dull pain right behind it? My ear feels like that, but it's over and over, like somebody is hammering it. Something, somebody's like hammering a spike into the bones of my skull on that side of my head. The ironic thing is, is that it's just the ear canal that hurts. It's nothing, it's not even that much bigger than my finger. You know, it's just a little twisty, turny little tunnel from outside to my eardrum. And, and all that's inflamed is just the skin inside of my ear, my ear canal. You know, and it's not even that severe. They call it mild, but it sure doesn't feel mild. Cause like severe otitis externa, that is when the ear canal will actually swell shut, almost. Like, it'll, it'll close down to a slit, so you almost can't see the, the eardrum with the otoscope, the otoscope. The otoscope. Hmm. Otoscope. It's not spelled like Odo from Star Trek Deep Space Nine, but imagine if he turned into one. That would hurt. Anyway, when they used that thing to look into my ear, it really hurt. Anytime they touched my ear, it really hurt. And they did the water lavage, which I found out you're not supposed to do with otitis externa. So I'm like, okay. But I went with it because, you know, they were, they were the doctors and the nurses. And I figured they know what they're doing. But maybe it was just a test to see if water would cause me pain. And it did. I mean, when they stopped doing it, it started to really hurt. So, like, oh my god. Anyway, um, but just to think, you know, the skin inside of your ear canal is super sensitive. That's why ear, ear infections are so painful. Like, I was listening to, like, an ear, nose, and throat specialist on YouTube talk about it. And he said that, you know, if you were to take, like, the curette or whatever tool they use to, like, suction the stuff out of people's ears, because... I can actually watch those videos, it's kind of satisfying, where they go down someone's ear and they clean out the, the gunk and the wax and stuff, and he said that, you know, your ears are so sensitive that if he were to poke the skin around the eardrum that somebody would go through the roof. Well, an ear infection is basically swelling that feels like someone is poking in there. So it's no wonder that it's so painful. and. Even a supposed mild infection like I've got. And mine is not a bad one that swells my ear canal shut. But oh my god. You know, just touching my outer ear. This is my right ear. I mean, you probably can't even see me because it's so dark. But just wiggling my outer ear, wiggling the tragus. That's that little skin in front of your ear opening. And then there's the pinna, which is the part behind it, there's like an antitragus in there somewhere, and then the earlobe. I have a detached earlobe. I can't remember if that's a dominant or recessant genetic trait, but detached earlobe. You know, I can, on my right ear, I can, I can grab my ear and pull on it all day, and I don't feel anything, you know, I just feel the pulling, but if I were to do it to my left ear, 
it's so painful I want to hit the ceiling. So, oh man, that ibuprofen is working. Oh God. Just got an alert telling me about the rain. Well, duh, it's raining. Um, I love AccuWeather. Oh, it's an airplane. I thought I heard thunder, but it's an airplane. Anyway, um, oh, that ibuprofen is working. <laughs> oh my God, there's such a difference. I went from pain to no pain, almost no pain. It's, I feel it, but it's not super, uh, did you even hear my voice change? Like my voice changed tone. When I'm in pain, my voice sounds a certain way and I just heard it change. I mean, look at the difference. You know, if you're hearing, I mean, some of my, some of my followers are deaf, but like, if you're hearing, I mean, my voice just changed. You know, I'm not so monotone. <laughs> anyway, yeah, ears are sensitive little organs. And if I were to pull on my left ear, it would send me through the roof, even with ibuprofen working. But, anyway, what time did I take it? Okay, it took it about 45 minutes to work, so... Yeah, because I took it at 8.30, so it took about 45 minutes, because it's just after 9.15 right now. Um, that's quicker than it was yesterday, so I guess the eardrops are working, the antibiotic eardrops. Ironically, they're also eye drops. It's like ciproflexin or something, I can't think of the name of it, and I don't want to turn on a light right now, but it's the same thing they use on anthrax. <laughs> I almost want to go around saying, hey, I've got anthrax in my ear, but I don't. It's probably like a staph germ or something. I'm not sure which which bugs can affect ears and cause ear infections, but usually it's like a staph. Yeah, probably the same staph that can, like, give you MRSA. I don't know. But anytime I, I touch this ear, I make sure to wash my hands before I touch anything else, just because. Um... But, yeah, either, I think it can either be staph or strep in the ear, I'm not sure. But it sure feels like strep throat in my ear. But, either way, germs cause inflammation. Actually, your immune system does. But, anyway, I'm okay. You know, talking is making it start to hurt, so I'm gonna stop, but... Man, this sucks. Ear infections suck. <laughs> 